What's up guys? So I have went out today and after work uh, I went and bought some new heat lamps and I bought three new lamp three new lampshades uh, for the heat lamps. Three new heat lamps, let me just rephrase that. And um Why is that messier than usual, buddy? Um I have come downstairs and I am Looked, I have looked at the uh, tailless whip scorpion, better known as a cave scorpion. Um, and he seems to be doing so much better. He's actually moved around since last night this morning when I got up. Uh, I make sure whenever I go to bed, I put him in one location, one corner of the area that I know of. So last night I went to bed, he was at the left side facing me. Uh, he was in the front left side. And when I woke up this morning before work, he was on the far right front side. I just came home and he's now up at the back right hand corner now so he's doing fairly much better he's moved around on his own and he's eating and he was just holding the food and I went recording and he dropped it but it seems to be a little messier than originally anticipated and anticipated um, another thing I have went on ahead and taken the baby turtles and put them in the 55 gallon um, I have the fish breeder container that I built, the black one. I'm going to flip it upside down and add legs to where it comes up out of the water. And then I've yet to determine what I'm going to add on as a ramp for them to come up. I'm probably going to make something out of wood or plastic, potentially. I think I'll make it out of plastic. I have plenty of plastic lying around. Um, and um, just make it to where it's out of the water. They can climb out onto it and... Um, I have a basking light. I just actually took it off and gave it back to the other turtle. Because um, I bought their lights today and I forgot to buy four lights instead of three lights. So I bought three out of four. Hence why I grabbed the four pack of bulbs. But yeah, <laughs> I, I jacked up. Update on the guppy breeding project. This seems to be doing pretty damn well. Uh, a couple dead baby guppies. That's not really a, a problem. It just kind of happens. You know, natural selection takes shape with a lot of things. Why I have one dead um i don't even know maybe i could feed him those little tur turtle pelts where'd those, where'd those go oh they're right there okay they're apache no whatever the zoom head whatever they're called but uh let's give you a quick look at him show you what he's doing see he's grabbing it now you see he's got a hold of the food himself he's He's milky because I just gave him water. And pretty much what I do is I just wash my hands, clean them very well. And then I come downstairs and I take like a little stick or something and I stick it inside the water. And that creates a little bead and I just kind of dunk it on his mouth and he drinks it. Um, and I went all day without having an earring in. And I have a migraine from hell. But I bought the uh, Red Tails a new lamp and light. And the Bearded Dragons now can use theirs. Um... I bought the new bearded dragon his own lamp and somebody on Facebook was selling a bearded dragon a 50 gallon and all the accessories for a hundred bucks my buddy tagged me it, and I'm like you ready for a trip to castle for uh, Newcastle and he's like what are you talking about he's like I'm at the laundromat and I'm like then why the fuck did you tag me in it if we weren't gonna go get it I'd have dropped a hundred bucks right now the dragon all that totally worth it but I did pick up something for the uh, inbound for you, uh for the future I just have to modify it it cost me a little bit of money from work today. Um, a lot more than I would have liked to have spent. But I think it's going to look awesome uh, if I manage to get two or three slings at least. And it's this right here. It's this glass display case. And it's like a glass shadow box. $15 is what it usually costs. It cost me 12 But I have to figure a lockout. And I'm going to go to the Lowe's right, down, right next to us. And I'm going to buy a diamond drill bit and I'm going to put like a set of holes running along the side here. That way there's cross ventilation. And uh, yeah, the only thing I have to do, like I said, is figure out a locking system and go from there, which shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, this is it. Nice, cool looking. It's got two price tags on it. I'm not sure why that is, but everything that goes on the floor, I get to see before it hits the floor. So I can tell you what I want and what I'm going to pick up. And these were one of them that I saw that I wanted really badly that I picked up. Um... As of for now, hell, I could put the coal, I could put the uh, cobalt, the Honduran, anything inside of there. 
Uh, I really don't have a use for it at the moment other than for when, you know, the baby, uh, where is he? Oh, here he is. The uh, little m 40 is good to go, but he's already making a new burrow system since I knocked his off, which you can see right there on top. Such a little cute thing. Um, but yeah, he's, yeah, here you go. Here's another great view of him eating on his own now. He's holding the food. He's pulled the guts out of the spike maggot. Here, let's hit the, there we go. And at some point, I am going to be ordering two more. Um, once this one's up to health, I'm going to be ordering two more. They are from Underground Reptiles. And I know a lot of going to be like, ew, bad. Well, tough titty. I order from them. I like them. They've always been good to me. So I am great. i um, been working for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days now to bring a um, cave scorpion back to health. and Or better known as a tailless whip scorpion back to health. And thankfully, he is doing awesome. He's still not moving his legs, though. But he's eating on his own now when I give him food. I have to hand feed him. But when I give it to him, he takes it from me and starts eating. So... He is moving, but I'm not sure how he's shuffling around. I haven't seen him do it yet. They are nocturnal, though, so if I shut the lights off and just wait, I'll eventually see it. Uh, $39 is what shipping is. I, I bought him at the Reptile Expo. He cost me $20. Uh, they're usually $30, um, and I didn't bother taking him out to look at him, mainly because these guys are pretty fast, and they can take off on you. Um, so I didn't want to lose him in the, in, the, in, the, in the Expo, but what are you guys eating? Oh, you're killing one of my freaking plants again. Thank you, guys. Uh, so... I just left them in the container, and this is it. But yeah, to order two of them plus shipping, it's going to be like $103. Uh, which, in my opinion, is going to be worth it in the long haul. And they come five, six inches long, and they max out at like... Uh, the Underground Reptiles thing is off, and I'm going to have to call them and let them know. I tend to do that. I tend to call Underground Reptiles and be like, Hey, look, this is not right. Because they had a... Uh, a couple years ago, they had a... Uh, last year, actually, they had a pink toe tarantula labeled as $89.95. And I'm like, that's not right. And they changed it within about well about six hours about six hours after I called once the people got in that run their website. But uh, it says that they can grow to a to a length of two inches to twenty five inches. Now twenty five inches is over two feet by an inch. Uh, so that just seemed a little off me. So I think max like antenna tip antenna tip maybe ten inches. Uh, but I don't think they get twenty five. If they get twenty five body wise, the legs alone are ten inches. That's fucking huge. That's that guys. That'd be a giant ass thing and. I think I have a male, uh, judging by the length of the, uh, are those petty palps? Are they, are they, what, what would those be classified as? Are those pincers? No, because they don't close. What are praying mantis arms called? Because that's what they resemble. Those... He died. Uh, he was... God, how, how, how many days do he live? He lived for a while, actually. He lived a lot longer than I thought he would, but nature eventually took his course, and he died. Uh, came home from work one day. He was His head was all cocked to the side. His neck was starting to deform up on him, and then that very night, he ended up dying. And one of my guppies is actually trying to breed. It's my fancier. It's one of my fancier breeder guppies. Same right here. He's still trying. Now there's two males competing. That's what they do when they're breeding. Um, but yeah, he ended up dying. But thankfully this guy is, uh, he's starting to come back to health. Like I said, he's moving. I don't know how he's moving. If he's just stretching his legs out and crawling or if he's just inching himself little by little throughout the night. But he's definitely doing it all on his own, which I absolutely love. But I've definitely got to get that thing for the turtles built. Because what I'm, yeah, I already, already, already explained it. Because <clears throat> I'm going to take the garter snakes out of the Zoomed housing that I have. And I'm not sure what humidity these guys need. They're caves, so I'd assume it's pretty low. Well, it is moist inside of caves, though, so. Would it be? Would, it would be less humid. It would be. It would be less humid inside of a cave because it'd be colder inside of a cave. How does that make sense? It's hot on the surface, but the deeper you go, the colder it gets. Even though you're going towards a molten core. 
Maybe there's like a sweet middle section where it stays and it just starts rising again. Hmm. Damn, all my males are trying to breed now that I shut the filter off. Jesus, look at that. There's like six or eight pairs in here trying to breed. I need to take the mollies out because the mollies, I think, are the ones eating the babies. But what I'm pretty much doing is I'm feeding him about five times a day. Literally. It seems overkill, and it probably is, but at the same time, it's getting the results that I'm looking for. It's getting the results that he needs. I need to shut the heater off because the back of the heater uh, freaking thing is just full of dust from the chickens. I'm probably going to get rid of the chickens, honestly. I got them on a whim. And they were free, so I'm probably going to talk to the guy I get my quails from and see if he wants them to breed, because uh, I sure in the fuck don't. Uh, at least not anymore. They're, they're getting to be more of a mess than necessary, and I don't know. I, I think you have to have a permit to, fuck, to, to to breed and raise quails or some crap. I don't, I don't know. I think my mollies are staying fat because they're eating my baby guppies. I think that's what's going on. I've saved, I've saved a couple guppies here recently that were just swimming around in the water. And once again, I read the aquarium and the water's down like six fucking gallons. So, the moisture has absolutely skyrocketed inside of here. And I want to show you, oh, your guys, water is dirty. What, do you guys just like poop in your water bowl? Is that what you guys do for fun to torture me when I come home from work to shit in your water bowl all day? Come here, fatty. I'm, you're, I'm, I'm going to get you. You're not going to run away. So here are the baby chicks now. Hi. Oh, you smell like dookie. You smell like a baby chicken, actually. So they grow extremely fast. And they're all three females. They're social, which is funny, but at the same time, they're not. That, I, that, I don't know how it is, it just doesn't make sense, but that's how it is. They're social, but they're anti-social as hell. I gotta read my freaking mail. Um, Chuck Cody's. I do. He's, he's, he, I'm shocked he's even still alive. He's eating! So I'm not mad at that, but I'm just shocked because, you know, male tarantulas tend not to live very long, and... I honestly thought that, like, the koi and everything else would dick with the uh, baby turtles. No. Turtles ain't no punk. They'll chase them down, bite their tails. So, the fish and the, the koi now stay away. They don't take anything off tails, but they give them a good licking, I'll tell you that. But, they're small enough still that they can climb out almost all the way out of the water and uh, get on the plants, which I think is awesome. I might take popsicle sticks to make a ramp. Those shouldn't leach anything. Well, there they are, processed wood, so that's not going to work. I am dizzy as shit all of a sudden. Um, wow. My little millworm's still alive. That's a shocker. I might end up feeding him off, honestly. Why would I do that? Because it's food for that guy. But I just want to make this quick little update, you know, letting you guys know his growth and everything else like that, and he's doing really good now. I haven't checked anything else since I've been down here. I haven't checked my other teas. I haven't checked all my... I've uh, checked all my fish. I haven't checked all the snakes to see their food and water. I haven't checked the dragons. I know the dragons are going to need water. I took their water out last night because of how nasty it was. And I ended up falling asleep. So I got to get their water back down here tonight. So that was on me. Uh, I can almost guarantee that the balls and the dragon... Uh, everybody's going to need water. It, it, with the way the aquarium's running out of water, I pretty much have to water two through two... At least once in the morning before I go to work and then once when I come home. But I think about, I'm thinking about buying a humidifier, but then that can cause a mold growth, and that's just a terrible situation. Have I showed you guys the dinosaur, the dinosaur bicer yet that I picked up? I'll do him in a separate video, but... I just want to make the... Yeah, you can see the cock of the walk here. That's king. That's the queen of the roost right there already. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get off here. Because I got to get everybody's light set up. I got them I got them a new light. I got the dragons. Um, and then I got the turtle. No, no, no. Fuck! That's what I meant to light for. 
I think I have one in the garage. I should have one in the garage or it's hanging back here in the room. I'll have to look real quick. But I've only own, I only own like 30 of these freaking lamp things. The heat lamps, so. And you get off here and then. Once this guy starts doing better, I'm going to set him up in an actual enclosure with cork bark and everything. That way he can freely move around. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking about taking this little five gallon that I ended up picking up and turning it into something. I don't know what though. Um, maybe an arboreal habitat for something. Maybe a tarantula tank. Heat tape. Yes, yes. I need. To, I am getting heat tape. Uh, we got a, a guy from the expo who gave us a link to this, the the bulk supplier that he orders from, and it's like twenty bucks for like thirty feet. So, I plan on getting some and getting the attachments that are needed because the attachments are like an extra fifteen bucks. So, pretty much forty five dollars is what it's going to cost me to get you know a bunch of heat tape and the fittings and fixtures I need, and it's going to cost me like another twenty, maybe thirty dollars uh, for a good thermostat. That way I can control how hot it gets. And I'm going to have to figure out how to run everybody down here because, hey, what's up? I am I am out of space down here electrical-wise. And once my tax checks, once my tax check rolls, is that a fucking baby fish sticking out of your ass? No. Look like a baby tail. Uh, once my uh, tax check rolls through, which should be like 300 and something dollars, I'm buying this stuff to add in new outlets down here. There will be actual wall outlets, and I can add, you know two search i can add two search protectors to each one and then run that shit off of there and be safe still instead of what i'm doing now and running extension cords to a search protector which is stupid as hell but it's what i've been doing and i've been keeping an eye on everything make sure nothing's burned or getting too hot and making sure cer certain things are shut off and what is scratching back here oh it's the chickens playing around but I am going to go ahead, get off you guys, get these guys set up. I should have really got them set up before I made the damn video. Just add a little bit of water to his mouth, and he's golden drinking again. So, yeah, and little, another quick thing. They look like they have fangs versus claws. You know how, like, a scorpion has claws that come out of its mouth? These guys look like they actually have fangs, because it's like he's pulling it in. He's, like, dragging. He's not pulling. He's dragging. No, he has fangs. They have they have fangs, people. They have fangs. So don't worry about the pins. Worry about the bite. I'm not going to migraine. So I got to get this shit set up and uh, get everything ran, get everything done, and then figure out the turtle idea and then lay the down and go to sleep. So I'm fairly certain I have to go in at 5 o'clock again. So I am going to get off you guys. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more updated videos on this guy and everything else in the collection. And I will see you guys next time as all my male guppies are trying to get lucky right now. Oh, this.